In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to generate Firestorm effect in Adobe After Effects CS6. First of all, generate the black solid from the new menu and apply the following effects on it. Fractal Noise, Colorama, Wave Warp, Turbulent Displace. First configure Fractal Noise Effect, change the Fractal Type to Strings, and Noise Type to Spline. Then make the Contrast 99, and the Brightness negative 19. From the Overflow dropdown, select the Clip option. Next, expand the Transform menu, and uncheck Uniform Scaling. Change the Scale Width and Height to 750 each. Next, configure Offset Turbulence to 360, 288. Increase the Complexity to 6.2. Now expand the Sub Settings menu and configure it. Change the Sub Influence to 124.6 and Sub Scaling to 52.4. Then change the Sub Rotation to 0x plus 180 degree. Make the Sub Offset negative 70, 0. Change the Center Sub Scale. Make the Evolution 0x plus 359 degree. Expand Evolution option and check the Cycle Evolution option. Now move to Wave Warp Video Effect and configure the wave height as 5 and let the other settings remain as default. Configure Turbulence Displacement Effect next. Set the offset turbulence to 360.0 288.0 while other settings are kept the same. Once done with configuring the effects, collapse the entire effects menu and select All and start rendering the composition. Since this project is loaded with multiple effects, we are going to directly dissolve it to output, which results in the output being different before and after rendering. Once you're done, you can reconfirm these settings by expanding the effects menu. Note that the flame effect is entirely dependent on the settings of Colorama Video Effect theme. Now scroll the seek bar to preview the changes you've made. 